What's up? My name is Gavin Castleton. Uh, I want to make a quick video to walk through um, how I use this new Voice Live 3 vocal effects processor from TC Helicon on my newest video, Average Man. Um, I've been using it on tour, last tour I did, and in the studio we recorded a bunch of live footage of the band playing. So I've been using this a lot lately and playing around with all the different possibilities it has, which seem to be endless. And so I thought in that video it might be useful to understand what exactly is going on with this pedal since it's providing a lot of the meat of the vocal. Um, so firstly I used uh, what's called steps, this um, the, the this functionality in the new Voice Live 3 that makes it so I can make a different effect for each section of the song and then I can have sort of a master preset that cycles through each of them in order as I hit the step button. So that way I can have my verse sound, I can have my hook sound, I can have my bridge sound or whatever and I I can just tell it to go back to, to, to do a verse and a hook then use the same verse again then use the same hook instead of making uh, you know, seven different effects, presets, and having to cycle through them and change them every time I want to tweak one thing. This will actually um, allow me to do that all in one sort of umbrella preset and cycle through it with one pedal, making it much harder for me to screw it up on stage and much more fluid between uh, sections. So, I made five steps for this song. This song isn't as non-linear as a lot of my tracks probably are. So it really consists of a verse effect, a chorus effect, the verse effect again, the chorus effect again, and then the last verse effect, which uses sort of a vocoding effect that I'll tell you about. So, uh, but just a quick run through of what each one is. This verse effect. My teachers taught me I could be the greatest man alive. I've got a slapback delay on the vocal. I'm going for sort of a black keys, dirty bluesy kind of sound. So I've got this slapback delay. I'm using the transducer and the doubler. The doubler to kind of give my, my voice some of that Phil Collins polish that I love. And the transducer, I'm using this uh, radio sort of distortion effect. Um, not too crazy. I mean, I could turn it way up and then you get this real dirty sound like that. But I didn't want to have the lyrics inaudible, so... I keep it kind of mild and I just adjust the low and the high cut and the threshold and the presence. There's so much uh, customization you can do with each preset, it's crazy. And I'm sort of obsessed with that kind of control. So this is a perfect kind of pedal for me. That's the effect for the verse that I'm using. And I've got this stutter effect, which is pretty awesome, um, that I use in the second verse only as sort of an uh, epileptic moment, I guess. I can also control that with this button on the Sennheiser E835FX mic. It's sort of a special thing Sennheiser did with TC Helicon that I use all the time. So I can trigger it from there if I don't want to hit it with my foot or whatever. And I did that a couple times in the video because it's just more convenient for me if the pedal's not directly in front of me. In my chorus effect, if I cycle to step two here, I've got the same doubler, the same um, slapback, although I've got a reverb, so I switch the slapback to, the, to this reverb so that uh, it's not the exact same one, um, but it, it A frees up the delay so I can do this, can do this, can do this, can do this, a long analog delay because um, I'm a James Addiction fan. And uh, this delay actually is really cool. What I, I did with it is I used the ducking feature, which I'd never really used before. And that allows me to um, kind of trick it into almost a side chainy thing with a really slow attack so that I've, uh, I've got this long delay. But every time I sing again, it drops the delay volume by however many decimals I set in here. And then it slowly ramps it up. And this harmonizer effect is really the bread and butter of this pedal because it's insane what I can do with it. I can use up to four different voices and I can program each one of them individually to behave differently, um, which is 
so awesome for someone like me that wants to be able to use strange chord progressions and or you know have each each different song have a different kind of behavior you can control the like the humanness of it um and you can control even a, a vibrato for them so i set a subtle vibrato wick very 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 subtle 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 And this one, I set the key to G minor because I knew that's what it was, but you could also have this thing listen to the sound around it or a MIDI controller or a guitar input or anything and it, and it will figure out what key you're in. But since I know we're in G minor, that makes it um, foolproof. So I set it to that. You can set each individual to voice to behave either um, in a fixed manner or shifting or pedaling or set to the scale and I set it to the scale I set all of them to the scale um, so there's one doing up a third one doing down a fourth and one an octave up and I even adjusted the gender of each you can kind of play with it so that um, they sound a little bit more feminine or masculine depending on how far you set this thing so that helps differentiate it too and make it sound even more like you're singing with a group of people you mix it in uh, subtly play with the smoothness and the portamento or delay some of them a little bit and that helps humanize it even more so i've got that in the hook and that's about it um, and then the next step in our sequence goes back to the verse back to my black key sound with my crazy ah, 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 and then back to the hook again and then the cool part the last um, effect that i use for the last piece of the song is i use this midi controller and I'm able to set it to listen, instead of doing following the scale or, or being fixed or pedal or whatever other option I would want for those voices, I set it to listen to the MIDI input so that I can control the harmonies with this thing. Hey. You could also use a uh, synth in here, and I could use an external synth, and it could use that sound. So you could also do some vocoding. But for this song, I really prefer the natural harmonies. It's taking my voice and tweaking them and applying them with these sounds instead of uh, vocoding, which is slightly different, where it takes my sort of um, vowel sounds and my formants and my articulations and it applies them to a synth. This is taking those harmonies and applying them to these keys. And I can do the same thing where I tweak the humanization of it, the vibrato, but I actually turned all that off so this would sound very close to a vocoder, a little more robotic. And you could adjust portamento and attack and release and stuff. It's crazy. Um, so that was sort of the funnest part. This fun, funnest isn't a word. That was the most fun part, uh, being able to control it with this guy. Anyway, that's it. This is The Voice Live 3 um, from TC Helicon crazy pedal the possibilities are endless i didn't even get into the looping functionality of it um which is also intense um but it's cool because it's also real simple if you if you're not um totally nerding out on it like i do you can still use it as a total amateur or without programming much and you're going to get pretty awesome sound you can you can uh apply compression dsing all this stuff to your voice which i probably all got running through in the general setup um so the, the warmth that it can bring to your voice just in a live setting is insane. But I'm particularly excited about these harmonizing effects and the MIDI controlling of them and stuff like that. Anyway, my name is Gavin Castlin. If you haven't checked out the Average Man video, I'll post a link somewhere <laughs> or in the description down below. And um, like my page, subscribe. I don't really care. Don't do any of that. Um, or do it. Thank you so much.